starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. I was saying, Connie, this time I can see the angels smiling on me. But all I recollect they smiled on you twice before, and you don't seem to be no richer for it. Ah, but Cully, me old friend, the third time is the charm. This time I can feel it in me bones. I told you. I... Hi, Mr. Cully. Uh, hi, Timmy Lashy. Look what the cat dragged in. Uh, uh... Hi, Mr. O'Toole. Hello, Timmy, me lad. Sure, and it warms the cockles of me Irish hog just to see you and Lassie. What are you doing here this time of year? You only come to lead the Christmas parade. Well, I, uh... Well, uh... Little Lena and myself have been engaged for a big job in Capital City. We're going to advertise the opening of a great big department store. <laughs> and naturally, I couldn't pass through Calverton without calling on me. Old, old friend Cully. Gee, that's great. I know we all want to see the opening. When's it going to be? Well, the date hasn't been definitely set. I told why don't you tell the boy the truth? But this is top secret. Top secret? Huh? People have been looking in them hills for the lost Escondido mine since, since we took over from the end. Oh, you see, uh, Timmy, my boy, to tell you the truth, things ain't been too good for little Lena and me lately, and... Uh, this seems that they don't want uh, elephants to advertise things no more. The fact is, uh, I've been thinking of selling little Lena to the zoo. Gosh, I'm awfully sorry. Ah, oh, uh, spoken from the heart, me boy, spoken from the heart. But don't you worry. In this hand, I hold me a fortune. It's a map, Timmy. Another diamond mine? With the... Uh, oh, that was last year, Timmy. <laughs> Oh, that blessed elephant. It's going to scare my chickens half to death. Go stop her, girl. i got to be on my way. Time is of the essence. You know, Timmy, my boy, having a map like this in my possession is as dangerous as carrying the crown jewels unarmed. Me, boy. It's a great favor that I'll have to be asking of you. Anything you say, but, but just get that animal off my farm. <laughs> well, that's just it, Cully. You see, uh, little Lena ain't used to rough country, and she'd only slow me down. You mean, uh, you, you mean you want to leave that elephant here? Oh, little Lena would love that. No, just a darn minute. Uh, that's mighty generous of you, Cully. And when I return, rich beyond the dreams of avarice, I'll see to it, my man, that you're suitably rewarded in gold. But, but, but. Oh, two, Cully, me boy, it's the salt of the earth, yeah. You're a darling man. That Irishman. He'd talk a baby out of its bottle. What did I do to deserve all this? Come on, tell me. Oh, for the chain. Hey. Here we are. Look out to me. Over there, it's a boy. There. That ought to hold the gold on critter. Well, we gotta be going, Mr. Cully. So long, little Lena. Come on, girl. Whoa, Dad, whoa, Dad. Take it easy, take it easy. What's the matter with her? Uh, looks like she wants to go with you and Lassie. I'm sorry, little Lena, but Lassie and I have things to do. 
We'll be back in the morning. Yeah, bye. Now uh, go on and eat lots of that grass Come on, girl. Bye. <laughs> oh, poor Cully. Imagine being stuck with an elephant. Knowing our boy here, I'm surprised we're not stuck with her. <laughs> you should have seen the way she took to Lassie. Well, I think she wanted to come home with us. Oh, that's all we'd need. Where's Collie keeping this elephant? Well, he was going to put her in the barn. But it scared Betsy the cow half to death. I'm not surprised at that. So he drove a big stake into the ground and tied the Lena to it with a chain. Poor Collie. <laughs> What's the matter, girl? I think that's the best guess that you've made in your whole life, son. Well, what can we do about it? Well, we're going to get this animal back to Cully's, that's what. That's easier said than done. Oh, no, Mom. To move an elephant, all you have to do is make him follow you. Well, since you know so much about it, all you have to do is make her follow you back to Cully's. Come on, little Lena. Come on, Lassie. We're going over to Mr. Cully's. Mr. Collie! Mr. Collie! Don't you went home? I did. Well, little Lena decided to follow us. <laughs> oh, we just n knew she liked you, but I didn't think she carried this far. I don't think it's me she likes. I think it's Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Let's go. Come on, little Come on, Lena. baby. Come on. There. That ought to hold her. Oh, she won't break loose of this. <laughs> that's right. Say, Timmy, I'm sorry for what happened. No, oh, that's all right. Let me know when Mr. O'Toole finds his coal mine. Uh, uh, I won't have to let you know. You'll hear that wild Irishman shouting the news all over the valley. <laughs> well, we have to go now, Mr. Cully. Come on, Lassie. Bye. Bye, Mr. Cully. And no more shenanigans out of you. Until tomorrow? Well, all right. But you and Lassie will have to give me a hand. Well, where is Lassie? Hiding from little Lena. <laughs> well, I can't say as I blame her. Well, come on, Timmy. Come on, let's get this thing over with. Put your robe and slippers on, dear. Come on, girl. So. Uh, until tomorrow morning, anyway. <laughs> Sounds like little Lena wants company. Mm, isn't that interesting? Well, at the moment, I can think of only one of us who would make a suitable companion.
Sassy Martin, you come here. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll get her out of here. Oh, look at the place, what you did to it. Come on, get out of here. Can't budge. Paul, would you give me a hand? Mr. Cully. <laughs> I think she'll move without Lassie's help. Well, the situation's yours. Talk to her, girl. get to be just like people. Yeah, you, you love them. And of course, Jimmy, sometimes a pet can become a pest. <laughs> now, you take this animal. You take it. There she is, Mr. Cully. <laughs> You see, I, I, I would try to... I... What in the world is this? Burton, uh, 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 stop worrying, will you? I, I'm responsible. I, I mean, O'Toole is responsible. O'Toole? Yeah, he's the owner of the beast. And I'll get them damages for you if I have to wring his neck out. It's gonna cost an awful lot, Mr. Cully. Oh, I hope a tool finds that gold mine. Oh, well, it's all right, Cully. I was gonna have that shed moved anyways. You was, eh? Yeah. Only now it looks more like a job for a wrecking company. Maybe not, Mr. Burton. Huh? Well, maybe little Lena could finish the job. Little Lena? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the elephant. Oh, yeah, Timmy's right. Of course, there would be some charge, like a regular wrecking company. But, Burton, it would be cheaper. Okay, you win. It'll be worth uh, $15 just to be able to tell my grandchildren I hired an elephant to tear down my shed. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be sorry. She'll do the cleanest job you ever saw. Just wait here, Timmy. Come on, Lena. Come on. That's a girl. Come on. Round this way. We got work to do. Watch this. Come on. All right. I'll turn around a little. Now back up a little. Now, want to point, want to point you straight, see? There. Charge. You know, Lassie, that elephant has a real future. Hello? Timmy, I hate to wake you up like this, but, but I, I just got to talk to somebody. What's the matter, Mr. Cully? Are you sick? No, nothing like that, Timmy. It's that darn tool. I can't figure out why he didn't come home last night like he said he would. Wilmer, are you sure he said he'd be back last night? He was definite. It's Mr. Cully, Dad. 
He's worried about Mr. O'Toole. Well, Cully, I'm sure he's all right. I wouldn't worry about him. Paul, he's, he's always in time. He's always he's in time. And, and uh, uh, what could have happened, Paul? Now? Just where is he, I wonder? Cully, if it'll make you feel any better, Timmy and I'll have breakfast and we'll come over and help you find him, all right? You know, Paul, I could I could just wring that man's neck. I I Paul, you'll hurry, huh? No, all right, Cully, we will. Cully's pretty upset, Timmy. We better get dressed and get over there. Come on. That old tool is just a, a no good, shiftless, irresponsible. Thick-headed, flannel-mouthed Irishman. That's what he is. Right. Nice of you to come, Paul. I didn't want to bother you. Forget it, Collie. Hop in. Jimmy, maybe Lassie better sit back. Just gotta find him. A buddy like a tool only happens once in a lifetime. Cully, if you're sure this is where he went, we'll find him. Come on. and let me baby go to work. Come on, Lena. Come on, girl. That's it, girl. Now push. Push. Come on, girl. That's it. Push. Come on. Ah. Uh, that's the girl. Ah, uh, you're doing fine. Ah, uh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Ah, uh, O'Toole, you could have died in there. Ah, that's better. Cully, I prefer to die. He's gone loco. Look. Now you know. A sucker like me doesn't deserve to live. And you're too mean to die. And, and inside you, I'm sick and tired of you gallivanting around trying to find that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. 
Sarge, if your eyes wasn't in the back of your head, you'd be making money right in your own backyard. In my own backyard? Show him to me. Mr. O'Toole, Little Lena made this money. Ah, it's tricks you're playing on. How did you do it? Well, Mr. Cully and I and Lassie got wrecking jobs, and Little Lena did the work. Like I said, right in your own backyard, you get a wrecking company. What a wonderful idea. The Lena O'Toole Wrecking Company. Ah, sure, and the name rolls right off me tongue. <laughs> Big boy. Mr. O'Toole. Thank you, Tanini boy. Well, now, would you look at that? Ah, Cully. Isn't green a beautiful color? <laughs> 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 